All right, so we're back here with uh, another random imager. Right now we got this uh, spooky background. I don't know what to comment on it, but I figured it would be a nice like image to start off on. All right, we've got someone's very important uh, spreadsheet here saved. 10th of March, 2011. Clearly there's no way to communicate this information to someone else without use of a screenshot. And also, I think, like last time, before when we've been on the site, we've noticed there's been like a lot of old memes. I was wondering like what kind of time scale we were looking at and I'm guessing this one was taken in 2011 so that gives us at least a little bit of information about that. We've got this very um nice supernatural gif, gif, I don't know what to call it. It's a nice representation of the fandom as a whole. Like I was back on Tumblr back in the days where this was generally the vibe of Tumblr. I'm surprised, I'm wondering, it says it's a JPEG, but it's moving, is that, like, possible? Is that a thing? I'm not too knowledgeable about it. Alright, well, I went to save it for the, um, sake of editing these videos, and it says it's a GIF, so I don't know what's up with that. We've got here someone edited the word corner into Super New Mario Bros. Wii. I can't possibly think of a use for that. It's a very fascinating image out of context, though, I think. Just the appeal to a lot of these is how, like, mysterious they are out of context. Also, I went to save this image, and this one was also a GIF, so I don't know if it was just like... I know back in the day that was like the standard image file format, so maybe it was just that's why, but it still seems rather odd, like... I wouldn't put it past someone to like make one of these kind of videos and like have one frame that lasts for like a really long time with a GIF and then it all of a sudden switches over to a second image for like a minute or even just like stops on it. Like, speaking about images that are mysterious out of context, what is this? Like I got a note to self, look this up, make sure this isn't like a racial slur or something racist. So if this is in the video and it is something racist, I my research failed me, but uh, yeah. We got, um, we've got a Magic the Gathering card here, Sevon Gandalar. He's a planeswalker. I had a buddy called Sevon Gandalar back in high school. I think he just like walked into a river or something. I don't know if that's good enough to make it to the video, but I, I tried. Well, here, this isn't funny, but this is something I want to talk about. Here's an image that says, Every time you wish upon a star, you're actually millions of years too late. That star is dead, just like your dreams. That is not true. Most of the stars that you see in the night sky are only like a few hundred, I think a few hundred or a few thousand light years away, which is slow enough in the lifespan of a star that you, you'd still be able to, it's still going to be alive. Like, you can say with pretty much full confidence. That's not how astronomy works. Cool, we've got some uh, right-wing propaganda here. I don't want to spark anything, but okay, first off, given how strict income inequality is, I don't think quintiles is like a sufficient way to mark the rich from the poor. And secondly, I would guess that the rich pay more in federal taxes because they have more disposable income, which should go to help people. You know, that's kind of how taxes work. Poor people can't pay as much in taxes, because if they could, they wouldn't be poor. It's kind of a ridiculous circular argument here. We've got here some nice soothing artwork. I'm guessing this is fan art from something, but I'm not quite sure what it would be from. Some anime. I'm not up on my anime, personally. Right after, we've got juicy cocktail graduation nails. I'm guessing these are fake nails. That does not say graduation. Okay, that explains some of my questions. It says gradation, which I'm guessing means like there's a gradient to the nails. I thought these were graduation nails and I was gonna ask what makes them graduation nails, but I'm just dumb. That's how it goes sometimes and that's all right. Also shout out to Nailzilla, my favorite uh, kaiju from the Godzilla franchise. We've got an old relic from some spam company, given the style it's in, I'm guessing from like early 2010s. I wonder when this was like from, like what kind of scam is going on here? You know, it's funny, there's a lot of GIFs today, I don't think we had any last time. No, we had one or two, but not nearly as many. Do you want your child's face to be covered in the letter G? Then do I have the mask for you? Is this Gucci? I don't know much about fashion brands, but if it is, it's a very ugly Gucci thing. 
Also, why would you get it for your baby? They don't know what Gucci is. They're not gonna be able to appreciate the fine art. We got a very um fine Photoshop here of two people who I do not recognize. An idea I just had is probably too late for this one, but maybe for the next video. I'm wondering where a lot of these images come from. Like when you look at this, you have to like just wonder where this comes from, right? So next time I might try reverse image searching for some of these and like try to find out where they were used online. I don't know how successful that would be, but I think it would be an interesting idea. That's the image from last time, isn't it? In like a very weird context online. I'm glad they added the red circle though. It really helps draw my attention. All right, and do I just like end the video here? Just like, leave you looking at some nerd stuff here and just not give an outro? I think I'm gonna try that out.